Today I wanted to talk about online leads. Hey guys, welcome to episode one of Ask the Agent. Really excited to do this show. We're going to uh, talk about some industry stuff, maybe some client stuff regarding to real estate. So we're actually live on Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope today. So join us on one of these platforms. Really excited to bring some content about our industry uh, to you live each and every week. Today I wanted to talk about online leads. A um, lot of agents that have been in this industry for a long time seem to come to me and, and tell me that they've tried online leads. Should they continue to invest in them, or you know, should they just stay to their traditional uh, farming methods and, and talking to their sphere? And, and I'm here to, to tell you for sure, you've got to be investing in online leads in the future. You know, I think the industry is definitely changing, uh, where you've got to be paying attention to this stuff. So if we're going to play in this uh, sandbox, where do we get these leads? So there's a bunch of different options out there. Um, I think one of the overplayed ones at this point is Google AdWords, um, and I think some of the stronger ones are going to be Facebook uh, and Craigslist where you can get a little bit cheaper lead. Um, your traditional methods are still going to work, absolutely. Your Zillow's, your Trulia's, your Realtor.com, uh, and those are going to be a little bit more seasoned um, clients or leads where they're going to be a little bit closer in the buying process. The um, Facebook and the Craigslist stuff could definitely be a little bit further down down the road, so you're going to have to have a better follow-up system in place, but um, there are cheaper leads uh, for those of you guys who might not have the dollar spend to go out and get the Zillow, the Trulia, and the Realtor.com, but 100% you got to play in this sandbox. Um, I, I think when you're talking to these agents, um, especially the experienced agent that's played in this, in this box before and they haven't had good results, I really don't think it's that the leads are bad, it's that the follow-up uh, of that agent is bad, right? So let's talk about that follow-up process and what are we doing at Revithus Realty to, to stay on top of that. Um, as these leads come in, the first thing is obviously speed to lead. You've got to get right on top of that. If you've been doing any kind of homework on online leads, you know that speed to lead is very, very important. So, um, But it's not just getting to them quickly, it's getting to them over and over and over again. So we have a 10-day buy or die plan that we use for follow-up. And it's not just voicemails, um, that is one method, but we are using voicemails, we are using emails, uh, we are using text message, and we are even using video text uh, through Snapchat's platform. We can put a little sticker on there and just show these people that we are live, we service this area, we are real uh, people that, that, that can help them to, to buy this property, right? So. The other thing that you got to realize is it's not just about following up repeatedly. So if you were to follow up with 10 voicemails and they were the same thing, hi, Mr. Buyer, I'm following up with you about 123 Main Street in, in uh, you know XYZ Town, I think if you keep leaving that same voice message, you're not going to get any traction. The first couple of times they answer or they don't answer, it's not going to matter if you do that same voice message you know eight or 10 more times, right? So we've got to come up with USPs, those are unique selling propositions. Every time you're leaving a voicemail, add something in besides the follow-up, right? So if you are the expert in your town, maybe you're going to talk to them about the amount of sales that you do, how experienced you are, and that there's no situation that's going to come up that you can't handle. Or maybe you simply explain to them that there's no cost to get a buyer's agent, uh, that the buyer's agents are typically compensated through the listing side of the equation, and that you can call me back uh, free of charge. I just want to help you and serve you. Um, the other thing is play around with times a day. You know, we are not following up with the leads at the same time every day. Sometimes we're going to try mornings, sometimes we're going to try afternoons, sometimes we're going to try evenings um, to see, to try and get to people at different times because everybody's got a different schedule. Um, you might be a morning person, your lead might be a night person um, or vice versa. Right? Um, so we talked about the when. So why play in this sandbox? I really think we, we talked about at the beginning that the industry is changing, that the transactions are now longer. And I'm going to talk about the actual process of buying and selling real estate. That hasn't changed that much, but the, the process of getting into the real estate market, starting to educate yourself about buying a house, and then actually going out and buying that property. Um, you know, Before the internet really started to get involved in our industry, those things happened very quickly. Once somebody decided to buy a property, they were engaged with an agent, uh, maybe referred to an agent through somebody else, and within three or four months typically buying. So a lot of referral business, and what I think that the online is starting to do is 
is cutting into that referral business. It's not cutting into agent business, right? It's not that people, people are actually using agents more and more, uh, according to NAR, but what we're finding is they're starting out in the process earlier. So when, when a, somebody tries to go and refer their friend, they've already been talking to somebody else online. So agents need to become that real estate resource to these online buyers. So don't expect to get one of these online leads and close on them within a couple of weeks. It's just, it's not gonna happen, right? Uh, is it gonna happen occasionally? Sure, but for the most part, these are gonna be longer terms, and you guys gotta understand that. You've gotta engage, you gotta have systems and technology that can help you to engage over time. So um, I think that's really kind of what I wanted to cover uh, on online leads. I really appreciate you guys, uh, for those of you who have joined in today uh, for our first episode, really appreciate it. So grateful to finally get this show off the ground. So if you guys have a question for me, I'd be happy to answer them on a future episode. Hit us up on one of our social media profiles, at Revithis Realty. Thanks so much.